Hey everybody, welcome to this video on the new throttle and stick for my F-18 flight simulator. I already had the Thrustmaster Warthog left over from previous builds, so I decided to keep it. I think it's one of the best consumer controllers available, but then it's still just a joystick. To improve it, I extended both throttle and stick for longer travel and added an extra spring to the stick to provide more centering force. This worked fine for some time, but as the simulator neared completion, I wanted something with a truly realistic feeling. So I decided to come up with my own throttle and stick. What I wanted it to have was a defined center on both axes, meaning some mechanism that would always return the stick to its center. A centering force light near the middle and gradually increasing towards the outside a feature all planes I flew, be them fly-by-wire or manual control, had. A difference as small as possible between static and dynamic friction, meaning that when a force is applied to the stick, it would instantly start moving slowly and not resist at first and then jump abruptly. And finally some sort of overall motion damping, so that if released it would return to its center and not engage in a spring-like back-and-forth oscillation. My first plan was using gas springs and didn't work at all. Then I tried out a combination of different gas springs and regular springs. Then switched to all sorts of dampers. Then everything mixed together, each time in some different configuration regarding angle, lever and travel. It was harder than I had expected to come up with a setup that would meet all the targets. After a lot of trial and error I finally found the sweet spot, a combination of regular springs a centering mechanism and oil dampers. The springs exert an increasingly strong force the farther the stick is moved from the center. Centering mechanisms for both axes do just that, center their axis. I found the oil dampers on eBay sold as motorcycle steering dampers for under 30 euros a piece. I don't know if I would install them in my motorcycle if I had one, but they proved to be just perfect for this job. I was so occupied finding a mechanical solution that I didn't think about how to integrate the electronics until the very end. The Warthog just uses one hall sensor for both axes, so I had to come up with a device mimicking the original movement of the stick. That's the new stick installed in the simulator. It certainly didn't turn out to be the sleekest piece of art, but it works as intended, and most of it will be hidden beneath the seat anyway. Compared to the stick, building the throttle was relatively straightforward. I used thick aluminium and steel rails to provide reasonable sturdiness, as the wobbling was one thing I didn't like on the original Warthog. As in the real F-18, it has two levers for putting it into cutoff, where it locks, and into the afterburner detent. It uses two dampers left over from the control stick trial and error. Useless there because of too much damping force, they prove to be just perfect for the throttle. Normally found in washing machines, they come at around 7 euros per piece. They provide a very realistic feeling force and are at the same time allowing small and precise adjustments without any jumping of the levers.
The Warthog has one hall sensor per thrust lever, which made using them in my setup very simple. I can even use the original cutoff push button for an easy programming of engine start and shutdown function. This was it. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed building my own throttle and stick. Thanks for watching.